the people physically sick, desperate, no finances, hospitals are far. What do they do? They cry to God. They pray to God. So even with us, Luke Commission is touching lives spiritually, soulish, also physically. We deal with a whole man, total man. Father, thank you for this day. We give you thanks for it, for all that you have done, for what you are about to do. Do the work! Sometimes when we look out of where we're working at the outreaches, you can just see thousands of people. But when you look, look at the line, you see one mother, you see one father, you see one grandfather, you see a grandmother with grandchildren. And that's what it is. It's all about each individual being touched with compassionate health care so that their lives and their children's lives and their family's lives can change, not only for today, but for generations to come. For the person who is in Swaziland, where help comes to where I am, it's nothing but a miracle. It's just a miracle. When they get there, they are wondering, will they accept me? Oh, there are so many people, I'll never get there. No. And we thank God for the staff of the commission. How cheerful, how gentle, how patient. So these people to them, it is nothing short of God who have told you people to come. When we first came to Swaziland, things were in emergency crisis. People were dying everywhere. It was completely earth shattering to see what was happening in Swaziland. And then all the statistics came out that if something drastic doesn't happen, Swaziland will be statistically extinct. Over the course of the last three or four years, we have turned a corner. Here we dealt so much with care and treatment of people who are HIV positive. We are still doing that, but more of our efforts go to prevention of children becoming HIV positive. Statistics now have proven that after circumcision, the rate of people being found infected by HIV has been reduced, which proved to have the hope the future generation of Swaziland are going to be HIV free. The reality is that it's going to have a major impact on HIV spreading in the next 10 to 15 years because if a boy or a man is circumcised and his chance of contracting or transmitting HIV falls by 60 percent. Six zero. That's big when you're talking about a pandemic that's wiping out a nation. When we can first engage a patient on what they believe is their most immediate need, then it opens the door for us to be able to engage in things that are very difficult to deal with. The comprehensive health care platform is what's given us the ability to be able to have a tremendous impact 
in the area of long-term HIV prevention. And right now we're fighting for the next generation. Those boys that come in every day to be circumcised, that's the next generation of Swaziland. We are literally on the crossroads. We are at a place where we didn't know we would get to, but we are there. Now, we need more help, more than ever. They are not seeing us doing this. They are seeing Christ and Christ at all. Because this is not a company, it's not a business, this is a ministry.